we're going to learn code and we're going to learn how to program, how our programs react to a remote control today. When we create the VPL, you can see the code getting composed real time. So let's just do something basic. When I touch the front sensor, I'm going to have my robot turn red. Now let's look at the code that just got composed. Back here it says call sound system minus one, call LEDs dot temperature zero zero, call LEDs top zero zero zero, call LED circle zero 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 zero. Now what does that mean? What the first part of the code is doing is whenever you hit play it's going to reset everything to nothing. So it sets the initial states. So if I were to hit play, the robot is blank, right? Now if I hit the forward button, it turns red. Now if I hit play again, you notice? So this, okay, so it's not winning on all the events, it just says when I hit play, go to the initial state. So that what's, is what it means. Now over here, it says on event buttons which means on the event that you push a button, it comes forward. So then it says if button dot forward equals equals one, what does equals equals one mean? Okay. Is true. one true? So if button forward is true, then, so it's looking for you pushing that forward button. Then call top. Then, all of this line indented here is going to say call. So you see how it said call here? But now it's saying if this is true, then call means do. Okay? So call LEDs dot top 32 comma 0 comma 0. Okay? So if you notice there's a number comma number comma, number, right? That actually is R, G, B, okay? R, G, B is red, green, blue. If you have zero, that means there is none of that color in there. The maximum value that you can have is 32. So if I have maximum of the first value, which is red, and I have none of the green and none of the blue, what do you have? What color is it going to turn? R, G, B. So I have 32 of R, 0 of G, and 0 of B. What color red, is it going to be? Red, red. red. Does that make sense? Yes. So what if I have 0, 0, 32? What's it going to be? Blue. blue. Exactly. What I have 0, 32, comma, zero. What's it going to be? Green. What if I have 32, comma, 32, comma, 32? White. Exactly, because all colors combined equals white. And white. Not for light. Oh, for, but I mean. for colors, it actually turns brown. Okay, so now we've got that figured out. Okay, so if we use the visual programming language just to help us do something very simply, if you notice, if I say this one, so if it gets tapped, let's say I turn it green, you notice how now I have a new statement that says on event tap. And at the same thing, it says call this. Now, if you notice over here, there's no if statement. It's because there's only one kind of tap. Make sense? Okay. Because over here, if I add another button, on event button center, then I make it blue. You notice how it falls still within the on event buttons, and it says if I press the forward button, and that's true, turn it this color. If I touch the center button, and that's true, 
turn it blue. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, one second. Actually, I'm going to delete these lines of code. Okay? Now, I want everyone to do the same lines of, of code of, as me, okay? So, so follow me for this, okay? So we're going to say, when I touch the forward button, I want my robot to turn, and we're going to com combine red and green and get yellow, okay? So if I touch the forward sensor, I want my robot to turn yellow. Okay, folks. So now we're going to say, when I touch the right button, I want the robot to turn, let's combine green and blue. Okay? So let's go ahead now and do that scary thing and close the visual programming language and say don't save. Okay, so now what we can do is if you go ahead and hit save here, we should be good. And you can just call it code or whatever and write on top of what you had before. So if we want our robot to respond to the remote control, what do you think is the first thing that we're going to do? We're going to add what command? First, we, over here it says on event button, so it's looking for that, okay? And for tap, it said on event tap. And if I were to have proximity center, it would say on event proximity, props. What do I need? On event remote. Okay, so on event remote or something like that. So in this case, it's on event, okay, and this is called R RC5. The next thing you think we need is what? Okay, first we have to indent once, and what do I need to write? Okay, if I, you notice as soon as I wrote if, the then appeared and the and, it helped us out. On button dot forward is a option over here in the variable list. There should be an option for looking, so right now it's looking for the button center. So if I click over here to auto, there should be something along the lines of RC. So let's look down. RC, RC, ooh, RC5 command. Now, if I press the number one on my remote, look at RC command. So I'm going to go ahead and press the number one. Did you see it change? Yeah. Okay. So apparently, the button, the number one button is called one. If I press two, it's two. Three is three. What happens if I press the channel up? Thirty-two. So now I'm getting what each button on my remote control means to my robot. So I'm going to say, well, if I press the button number one, then let's have my robot turn red. So let's see. If, what should I write down? R, C, what? Five dot command. Wait, R, C, what? Equals one. Equals, equals what? One. One, because why? Okay, in this case, it's number, one. it's number one. Okay, one over here doesn't mean true. It means because it's checking number one. Okay. okay? Then, okay, what goes down here? Uh, call. Call. Call L E D F. I want to turn the top red. Top. RGB. How do I turn it red? Comma zero, comma zero. Am I done? Yes. Are there any errors in my code? No. How do you know that? Because it says compilation success. So if I go ahead and I hit load and run, if I press the forward button, is it going to turn a color? Yeah. There we go.
If I hit this one, is it going to turn a color? Yeah. Okay, what's the other button that I can press and it'll turn a color? Okay, so what happens if I press one? It should turn red. Guys, because every time this red light goes on, it's because it's receiving a signal. I want you guys to write some code to program your remote buttons, okay? And I'm going to actually hide my code over here, and I want to see what you can do.